Just this past week, a student reached out to me. She is a pharmacy technician. She started a new job and she's actually required to make sure those calculations are correct. First video here, we're gonna talk about insulin. I'm gonna cover the first two questions with you. Take this third question here. Feel free to leave that answer in the comments. First question, how many days will one pin last? Well, what do we know about one pin? In this box, there's five of these pins. Each pin is three milliliters. Well, up here, the concentration of insulin, 100 units per one milliliter, but each pin is three milliliters. Since there's 100 units per one milliliter, yet each pin is three milliliters, that means there's 300 units per pin. Let's take those 300 units and let's divide by the number of units that this person will use every day. They're gonna use 40 units because it's 30 units in the morning, 10 units in the evening. So again, take those 300 units that's in one pin, divide it by how many units they're using per day, which is 40, and you'll get seven and a half days per pin. Now, what is all this junk? This is the dimensional analysis. I'll come back and show you that in a second. But something to note here, this 7.5 days. In the real world setting, do you say eight days or do you say seven days? Me personally, I think you should say seven days. Even though this rounds to eight, technically speaking, that pin will not last eight full days. But that depends on your teacher's rounding rules. That depends on the pharmacy policies. Now the dimensional analysis. Our goal is how many days will one pin last? So dimensional analysis, I'm starting off with days. And in one day, the person's going to use 40 units. Remember 30 units in the morning, 10 units in the evening. So in one day, 40 units. Well, we got to get rid of units. Our concentration here, 100 units per milliliter. So I'm writing 100 units at the top, one milliliter at the bottom. This allows us to cancel out our units. Now we need to get rid of milliliters. And what do we know about milliliters? Three milliliters per pin. Putting the three milliliters at the top so that we can cancel out those milliliters. And again, that is three milliliters per pin. We have met our goal because we have days per pin, and that's what this question's really asking. Multiply your top numbers, divide by your bottom numbers. And if you multiply those top numbers, there's your 300, and all you're dividing by is 40. That's what I told you back when we did the fast way. Now, second question, how many days will the entire box last? Well, there's five pins in this box. Going back to this calculation, we know seven and a half days is how long one pin will last, aside from all that rounding stuff I discussed. Multiply it by five, you'll get 37 and a half days per box. Back to that same rounding thing. Do you say 37 or do you say 38? Check with your teacher's rounding rules or pharmacy policy, but let's break down the dimensional analysis. And what you'll notice is that it's pretty much the same dimensional analysis that you see in question one, except we don't stop with the pin. We want days per box. And we know that there's five pins per box, which allows us to get rid of pins to meet our goal, which requires days per box. If you multiply your top numbers, divide by your bottom numbers, you will get that same calculation as what I just discussed a moment ago with the fast way. So I've showed you two approaches, the fast way versus dimensional analysis. Try question number three. Drop your answer in the comments. Thanks for watching and take care.